Hey, Aaron, um, they ended the third quarter on a 28 to nine run. Um, Malone kind of lamented what he called a quote, soft mentality. W what did you see in that third quarter when the momentum completely flipped? Uh, let's see, soft, that's a good way to play, put it, scary. It's another way to play. So, I mean, you could go, you could choose between them two words, either soft or scared. You know, that's what it felt like we was playing like. Uh, and then we was just breaking down, you know, we were breaking down defensively, offensively. We weren't getting into what we uh, needed to get into. We were letting them dictate our offense a little too much. Um, uh, really just a lot of breakdowns. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Hey, Aaron, Chris Paul had a pretty good game tonight, 20 points, 11 assists. What can you guys do differently on him uh, defensively to make things more challenging, at least limit one of those areas? Uh, I mean, we had him pretty well contained until kind of that stretch where he, he rallied off a couple of mid-range jumpers um, and one and three. Um, I mean, a lot of that was in the game plan, you know, so it's attention to detail and uh, no, just knowing personnel and knowing, knowing tendencies and what he's going to do and what he's trying to get to. I mean, it was nothing surprising, you know, it was what he gets to night in and night out. So we just got to sit on that and, you know, um, be more locked in on that. Jacob Toby, Nine News, Denver. You mentioned the word scared. I mean, how concerning is that for you, considering it's the playoffs and Coach Malone's talked about, you know, not needing to to say anything else. It's the playoffs. Like, that's that's it. Uh, it's, it's not too concerning. You know, you know, from the time that I've been with this team, I've seen how resilient and how tough they are and how strong-minded they are. Um, and, and just how relentless and ruthless and just how much they get after it and how much they're just killers on the court. So I feel like it was uncharacteristic um, of us tonight. Um, and I feel that we're going to come out with a different mentality and a different attitude from game two. Ashley Neville, Mile High Sports. Hey, Aaron, good to see you. I know that you also mentioned that um, the word soft, but uh, I don't think that described you tonight. You had 18 points. Um, you were really aggressive there in the second half. What was really working for you? I mean, I, I just got to get on the uh, on the defensive rebounding too. You know, the points were going, uh, three ball wasn't dropping, but I got a rebound as well, and that's a testament to that kind of uh, weak mentality. You know, just letting other people rebound or not hustling for some of the 50-50 balls. Um, as far as offense is going, um, just I feel like I have a mismatch all the time. So I'm just taking advantage of the, advantage of the mismatch. Crystal, KOA Denver. Aaron, Coach Malone said you were one of the bright spots and your attack mentality needs to spread to the team. So do you say anything or do you try to, I guess, how do you exert influence, you know, without overstepping? Wait till the second half to look to attack. You know, it got to be from the jump. Um, I know my team uh, is looking at me to set the tone along with some other people. So, you know, it got to be from the jump. You know, I can't just wait till the second half to implement that attack mentality. It got to be from the jump, like I said. Nick Friedel, ESPN. Aaron, you grew up like everybody else watching Chris Paul and seeing his game develop. What's it like for you? playing against him now, uh, seeing him still be able to turn it on like he did in the second half there? Man, uh, it's a different game for him these days from when I was watching him play. You know, he was a lot more explosive back in the day, um, getting to the cup. Um, he's always been really smart, and he's just keeping getting smarter. So, you know, he's a maestro out there orchestrating them, and um, he really is uplifted that whole Phoenix team. Just how he talks, uh, he communicates with them out on the floor, you can tell. 
uh, that he just gives the entire team confidence. Katie hey, Wingy, Altitude Sports. Aaron, how much do you guys think back to that first game against Portland now, considering the way that that series start? How much do you rely on, okay, we bounced back in, in this way, then we can do that again now? Um, it's pretty similar uh, game one. Uh, the only difference is we're on the road this time. So uh, we got a chance to steal home court. Um, and we feel that we can do that. All right, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Christo Saltes from SDNA Greece. Hey, Aaron, hope you're doing well. What you need to improve, especially if you look back in the th third and fourth quarter, and how tough to guard this Chris Paul from your perspective? I mean, it's Chris Paul one is it's tough to guard, you know. Um, but we're living with their range jumpers. Um, what we can't have are the corner threes. Too many open corner threes. Uh, they hit like half of their threes within the corner, which is uh, statistically the most, um, I don't know, efficient. I, I wouldn't say efficient, but like, like you get your bang for your buck, you know, when you shoot the corner threes. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Aaron. All right.